yeah, yeah, yeah. Lil Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporting on the Eagles. Yo, um, I want to talk about somebody who I'm, I'm actually very proud of. Man, I'm really, really proud of Sidney Jones, man. The things that we're all hearing, I'm pretty sure that we're all hearing the same stuff. We're hearing that Sidney Jones is basically the star of training camp on the defensive side of the ball. Probably the star, period. Sidney Jones, man. You got you to gotta think about all the stuff he's overcome. You, you know, and these type of people fit our system beautifully once they develop. The things that Sidney Jones had to overcome, being drafted, um, well, well, projected first round pick, getting hurt, slipping down in the draft, getting an opportunity to prove himself and prove his worth, you know, that not panning out, getting injured, battling through that, just to come back, just to come back and look as good as he's looked all training camp. So kudos to Sidney Jones, man. I believe the training staff learned a very valuable lesson though. You know, I believe they've learned a valuable lesson. Now we just signed another, um, I think we signed another cornerback and another safety. I know the safety we signed for sure. Jonathan Cyprin. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm familiar with him. You know, he's uh, a rugged guy. You know, I think he was in the draft class of 2013, if I'm not mistaken. Played with the Jags and the Titans. Uh, yeah, he had an ACL injury um, last season. The start of 2018 season, he had an ACL problem and he sat out the whole 2018 season. Um, this guy can tackle for the position. I think he had four consecutive seasons with 100 tackles or something like that. Correct me if I'm wrong, please feel free. But this guy really can tackle. But a lot of people wonder, wonder a lot of people are wondering why are we signing so many defensive backs? What was our trouble last year, man? Our trouble last year was we could not keep defensive backs healthy. Now we had the defensive backs that we were comfortable with, but all in the same breath, these guys were not healthy. Now we're going into a situation to where we got to think about this logically. Rodney McLeod is not going to be 100% week one. He had knee surgery. Sorry, I know how these things go. Um, Ronald Darby probably can be 100%. Also had knee surgery. Jalen Mills had a foot issue. Probably could be 100%. You know what I'm saying? Sidney Jones is looking good, but you got to remember he is coming off injury as well, but he's looking good in practice. So that's a huge step. Um, a lot of our defensive backs are, are not 100%. You know what I mean? So that leaves me to believe that we'll see a lot of Avante Maddox and Crevion LeBlanc and Sidney Jones probably for the first three weeks until we start getting rotations put in the situations and um, when we start getting guys really ready. Now, we signed Ronald Darby for a reason. We believe that when Ronald Darby becomes healthy, he will be an impact player. Remember, Ronald Darby got hurt the start of the Super Bowl season. Ronald Darby was hurt the start of the Super Bowl season. Ronald Darby came back towards the tail end of the season and played a huge role. It's, a, it's such a shame that he had got hurt again, but he played a huge role in us winning the Super Bowl coming back. I mean, he was undersized and he went up against some big wide receivers that year, man, and the year after, up until he got hurt. Now, we've got to talk about the importance of the slot corner. That's what this whiteboard is about to be about um, after you know the conclusion of this first half of the video. We're gonna talk about the, uh, the importance of the slot corner. What is the slot cornerback's roles? Cause you know, the, the, the average football fan might not know these things. So that's why it's our duty to touch on these things. Let's talk about the slot corner. Who's gonna be our slot corner nine times out of 10 opening day? Is it gonna be Sidney Jones who's showing a lot of promise on the outside and in the slot? It could be anybody, but the slot corner is just as, import, just as important as the outside corners, and here's why. Look, man, the role of the nickelback is simple yet complicated at the same time. So what is the role of the nickelback exactly? Now, in most cases, a nickelback or your slot cornerback is going to be probably the third best cornerback on your roster. The third best cornerback or safety on your roster. Sometimes it's safety, sometimes safeties play the nickel. Nine times out of ten, it's a cornerback that plays the nickel who can cover probably the third best receiver on the roster, you know, or, or it's just whatever. It's, it's however you want to classify these guys. But in most cases, when it comes to cornerbacks, your nickel back is usually the third best corner on your roster. Now, he's the third best corner on your roster for a multitude of reasons. Um, maybe he lacks the physicality on the outside. Maybe he lacks the speed on the outside. Maybe he just lacks the smarts on the outside. Or maybe he's just better at just being a nickel cornerback and not a starter. Because your nickel cornerback is usually not a starter because the base NFL defense is two corners and two safeties. So let's talk about the role of a nickel cornerback and why I believe that it's kind of good and bad for Sidney Jones to be in this position. Let's talk about it. So this is, um, this is pretty much your, 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 your base defense, if you will. Now the nickel cornerback, what the nickel cornerback position does is it replaces one of these two guys, one of these linebackers and brings a cornerback in that position. So say we got our nickel guy right here. 
Now, this will probably most likely be Avante Maddox, um, Jalen Mills or somebody, Sidney Jones. Avante Maddox, Rasul Douglas, and uh, Sidney Jones will probably be starting out the season in these positions. Now, Sidney Jones' role right here is a tricky role. Now, what Sidney Jones would have to do is cover the likes of guys like um, a Randall Cobb or um, a Cole Beasley. Those guys are usually your slot receivers, not because they lack skills on the outside, because they just cause havoc. They're mismatched nightmares. So guys like to put these nickelbacks in situations to where they're mismatched nightmares. Now you can be fooled running this type of defense for a multitude of reasons. The offense can come out with a three wide receiver set, which will occupy both your, um, will occupy all three of your cornerbacks, but that can trick you. Now, just because you're running a three wide receiver set, there's no rules that say that, hey, I got to pass the ball because I got three wide receivers out there. So what if Sidney Jones is caught in a position to where it's a running play? Now we know Sidney Jones often lacks the, the, the ability to be a, um, you know, a, a short tackler in the NFL. He's shown that he doesn't really want that contact at times. So is Ronald Darby. He's not the only one on the roster at the cornerback position that has shown that. So what if he comes out, what if we come out like this in a nickelback position and the team decides to run? Then that means it's the responsibility of this safety to keep his eyes on that and provide some help. Because we know this guy is going to, he's going to be good on the outside most, most of the time. You know, this uh, nickel cornerback is going to be good at making sure that he doesn't give up the outside. But if the play is coming straight at him or, or you know, uh, uh, or a steamroller of a running back is coming straight at him in his formation, oftentimes it spells trouble and you get gashed for big yards. So that's why in a lot of our formations, speaking for the Philadelphia Eagles, you see Malcolm Jenkins slide down and say, you know what, I'll take over this middle situation and you make sure you cover everything going to the outside. While this safety right here is just going to be a floater. We, we, run a, we run a defense like that a lot. Malcolm Jenkins also sometimes himself plays the, uh, the nickel position. So with that being said, the responsibility is, is enormous for a nickel cornerback. He's just not out there just to guard. Sometimes you got to tackle. You know what I mean? And I believe the Philadelphia Eagles, what they're trying to do is they're getting all these defensive backs. We know about the guy we just got from Tennessee who just came off the ACL injury. I talked about that earlier. They're getting all these guys because they're trying to find a for sure situation at the nickelback you know, at the nickelback position to where we can keep Malcolm Jenkins in the back with Rodney McLeod and we can have somebody that can stop the run and can cover. You know what I mean? Because Zach Brown ain't it. Zach Brown is not that good in coverage. A lot of people want to pull up the stats on Zach Brown, but the stat, the truth of the stats is this. Zach Brown wasn't on the field in a lot of third down situations. You know what I mean? If I'm on the field in one or two passing situations and I only deflect two of those, if I'm on the field for two passing situations and I deflect both of those passing situations and it doesn't happen again for the remainder of the season, then I'm good in pass protection? No, you gotta be out there on passing situations. You know what I mean? The Washington Redskins took them off the field in passing situations. And that's what happens when you can't cover. So with that being said, I think the Philadelphia Eagles are trying to find defensive backs who can tackle and who can play in coverage because that's huge for us. If you could tackle and you could play in, play in coverage from the slot position, hopefully Sidney Jones takes that leap. He's looking real good in training camp, like I said. If you can tackle and cover from that nickelback position, you allow Malcolm Jenkins to be Malcolm Jenkins and be a hawk at the ball, just like Roddy McLeod is a hawk at the ball. But, 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 but we, we've masked the nickelback weakness We've been weak at nickelback for years, in my opinion. We've masked the weakness with having a Swiss Army knife back there in the defensive back room called Malcolm Jenkins. Malcolm Jenkins plays every snap. Malcolm Jenkins masked the weakness of a lot of these young guys. But somebody got to take that step forward from a nickelback position, and I think Sidney Jones can do it. If not Sidney Jones, I got really high hopes for Avante Maddox, but Avante Maddox is extremely well on, good on the outside, and that's hard to find. So Sidney Jones is looking good. I think Sidney Jones is poised to have a breakout year, but I think it all starts with owning the nickelback position, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments.